definitely, definitely safe lane Marcy. Oh that's that's what we want to go for this game. And first spot, actually in the mid lane, Bob takes out Thompson. Outplayed, yeah. I mean, he's on full HP as well. A little bit surprising. Level 2 in wave mango, so no way to keep the aggression going in this lane. In mid lane, Thompson will actually go down again to Bob. With the Shadow Fiends, a beautiful soul for my collection. Bob, let's in know to farm, have a little bit more impact as a mid early with the waveform. Alos will die top to the last right click of Zephyr, so that trample, lots of damage. And Cuckoo, 71 with the Blightstone, does do a lot. The heroes here for Execration, Cuckoo, he's stepping up. He might get caught by Shanks, Avalanche comes out. There is a, a hook available, Frostblast as well, tossed in. The rot's on through, but Zephyr's coming through, and with the trample, turns around onto Shanks. The Ice Armor onto Palace, he's trying to chase down Kuki, will get the job done, but Zephyr is clicking. It is a one for one, but not before the Tiny went down, so when you brought three heroes to that yes, lane, your ball that goes down, but rebound coming through. As the Dispose and the Unleash, Tino, you can't live through this damage. Oh, the Soul Siphon. He tried, but early phase boots on Ana. They got the Nature's Treants. Treants coming in, and they're just taking towers. Marcy with the Falcon Blade and phase boots early. He's got Unleash ready again. He pops it, and <laughs> Death Prophet just eviscerates. Pudge gets tossed back in with the Dispose. He's tossed up in the air. Arna being feared in. Oh, he's still got some Unleash charges. He wants to hit. Jumping forward. There goes the Lich. Hook won't connect. And the T1 falls along with two of their heroes. Execration. Supposed to BKB. He's going to greed on this camp. Maybe. It's daytime. He actually jumps back in. He's caught. There's a chain frost thrown out and the exorcism. All are healed. He needs to time out. Get the heals off. He's going in. He's living for the time being with the hits. He will go down, but at what cost? At what cost for the side of Execration? You kill. You kill Ana. But the whole five man of T1, T1 is here, and you lose three. You lose your two supports and your offlaner to kill the pos one. And Exorcism has been... Triangle. Alos. Aghanim Scepter is coming out. They want to take a fight. This is their timing. Zephyr uses the Onslaught in the mid lane. They're going to see him. Ana, he's ready to fight with the Aegis. I'm not sure you want to fight into this Ana. They're going in. Jumping in. And Ana with the Unleash is straight on a Tino. Wants to take out this Death Prophet as fast as he can. Does get feared up. Ana takes it down. Pops the BKB. Lich is dead as well. Rebounding forward. He's on to Tiny. You can't stop Ana. BKB was used over Thompson. Actually, Thompson probably wants to be hooked over. Because Ana gets the rebound. They will make their way out. No, no unleash for another 30. Avalanche does cut. Sinister Gage pulls Ana over. But Kalos, he might have gone too far. Gets the eat off. Toss back. There's the Aegis used. Kalos is dead. No buyback. Exorcism coming out from Tino. He's running forward with the Soul Siphon. Ana jumps his way out with the rebound. They would disengage. Thompson. He's turning around with the DD, though. He's got the... The aura from the Wraith Pact. And will they just turn here? In comes Zephyr. Grabs with the Pulverize. Down goes Death Prophet. Bob, he's got no Requiem. Can't hold him back that way. Avalanche will have to do. Cuckoo. Starting to pay dividends. Hook in onto Cuckoo. That's actually a good target. They do have the heals available. Sinister Gaze onto Arna, but he's got the ult. He doesn't care. He's popped the BKB. The Unleash is going. Palos, you can't walk out of this one. On the back line, Fear over onto Morphling. Will live with the Strength Morph. But Bob, you've been caught by Arna. This is not a place you want to be. The Death Requiem will not deal enough. Out comes Wraith Pack. Cuckoo. Being chased down. But the Spirit Vessel won't be enough. Smoke. Has a Four on three men smoke. Who's going to catch who here? They're, they're mirroring each other either side of the river. Shanks has the blink. Wants to try and get in with a combo. But remember, Chen does have the heals. Zephyr charges through. As long as Chen isn't the one who's blinked on. Actually, they see him. Uh, but the, the avalanche doesn't come out. Shanks has to run away with his blink on cooldown. Zephyr actually has a BKB on this four... Four Primal Beast has a BKB 25 minutes in. It's it's a little too much. The BKB timing on Thompson as well. So BKB's 
Not yet on the death, the uh, nature's proper, but he doesn't really need it. He doesn't need it. The Furion will be just fine with his aura build. He might get a BKB later on in the game, but for the time being, it's just can keep building pretty much whatever he wants. They will see the TP back from Topson in the mid lane as the Manta working in towards the Scardi. Remember, he's the true carry here. Although, don't tell Ana that. While, while Ana's sort of making space, Topson is farming. Uh, the Morphling is the late game insurance in this one. Zephyr just baiting in the front line. Has the onslaught damage as well. None of this, none of this magic damage uh, resistance during trample. He wants the damage plus 90. Doesn't need resistance. Requiem being pumped. Hidden in the back. Oop, does miss. They're going to see him. I mean, Shanks tosses back in with the Requiem. The BKB to counter, though. And the Pulverize over onto Bob. BKB does come out, but it's the, it's the TP away. The Bash is there. There's no TP for you, Bob. You will have to go down fighting. Tiny scored as well. Tino pops the Exorcism uh, in the form of Tiny Topson. He's going to have an Avalanche in a moment. Hooking away, trying to save this Death Prophet. Ana, he's in the middle of the fight. He doesn't care for anything at the moment. Lich goes down in the trees. Rebound back because guess what? The, uh, the tier 2 tower is still alive. Biggin out. Hook doesn't catch. And Zephyr will be just fine. So, I mean, they didn't expect a pause 4 Primal Beast to have a BKB 25 minutes in. And you know what? That's an understandable mistake from Execration. They thought, we'll toss this guy back in, we'll wreck him on top, and uh, that, that'll be a great start to the fight. We'll get a, get a 5v4 and take the fight from there. Actually, in the trees, Zephyr, he's found. There's an Eid on top. The hook is not even needed as Shanks yoinks that kill with the tree throw. In the pit, though, Arna and Topson with the, the, the sidekick seems very apt between these two, both in-game and out. Topson and Anna, each other's sidekick in life. Pipes will be popped. Anna just rebounds in and, and immediately kills Vincenzo. I mean, I mean, it didn't even look like he had any HP. I'm pretty sure he was full HP and a couple hits from Anna and he was just dead. So Lich. Not having a nice game on this five Lich. Bottom of the net worth chart by a long ways. Brunch sacrificed his game. This one to, to make sure the team has the vision out, has the smokes ready, and uh, won't be scaling really into the late game at all, Lich. We'll try and pump all of the all the gold into Tiny and try and make a bit of a almost three and a half position on this Tiny. The 20k net worth lead now. Well, the side of T1 and look at the graph. It did level for a moment and just keeps climbing. They're just out farming them all around the map. Topson, he's doing whatever he wants. Now has the Aegis. Is that... Not, not Aghanim's yet. Ana, Just hanging around. The Ags is coming out. I think that's it now. Yeah, Ags is ready. Wondering who grabbed the... Uh, the Shard. It was it was the, the Morphling. It's like top lane. They want to fight. Ana, he's hunting. Here he is. Pops the Unleash. Has the Basher. There is the follow-up from the Tiny, but uh, there's the rebound stunned, and Pudge, that's your pause one. He's godlike on Ana. Uh, in the bottom lane, they tried to find out Bob. Zephyr, will miss on the stun, the onslaught, but Topson doesn't really care for it. Whiteman and Topson are just chilling, wanting to hit some towers. In comes Cuckoo. Has the nature's treants available? Frost. Frost Shield doing its best to slow down the push, but how do you slow down this push coming through? They have so much Ana Unleash in 23. Blink in, but the Silence immediately catches! The Bloodthorn actually pulverized onto Tino. We'll get Sinister Gaze in. Bob gets the Wreck Room off. Fearing four away. Exorcism is done, but I don't think it's enough. The Hand of God comes out. In jumps Ana. He's going to have the damage. Bob's the BKB. The Dispose back on Bob. The Ghosts are coming out, but for what? It's a BKB. Tino is in the middle of the fight. You can't sustain through all this. Unleash. It's been popped as well, and you will die. Sinister Gaze is not enough to save his offlaner, and Ana, he's not done. He's going towards the throw. He's going towards the, the fountain. He wants to get some more kills. They will rebound out the hook. Not enough. And straight onto the tier fours. They know two are dead. The amused wolf from, from Zephyr. 
And uh, this is certainly going to give T1 a lot of confidence moving forward. Here comes Shanks. Does try and get off some control, but Thompson doesn't care. There's a the rebound from Arna. Toss back, dispose, pulverize on a Palos. He tries to get the E, but that's GG. Game one goes to T1 with Arna and Thompson, their first game on the team. And uh, absolutely insane picks with the.